Hello everybody, it's Syl, and I wanted to welcome you back to Clan Gen. So within our last two episodes, we had shown the new generation for Cinnamon Clan and Fuzzy Clan. And I kept mentioning that there was a third clan that I had not uh, shown you guys before as I was working on getting um, the third clan up to 51 moons along with the original other two clans. So then that way um, they would be on the same level. However, since we have started this new generation, I think it should be fine that we go ahead and switch things up a bit as since I never showed you that third clan, I don't think it would make much sense for me to continue the old version that I originally had and keep going and then give an update when you guys had never seen it. So we're just going to go ahead and start that clan from complete scratch and we can make up our new story and figure things out with the characters as we go along. So we're going to hit new clan here. It now has this very lovely graphic here that wasn't there before. And we're going to type in the name of the clan. It was going to be Mist Clan. So again, we're going to just completely make this up as something new and see what happens. So we're going to hit Name Clan. And let's check out our potential leader candidates. So there is Rush Face, who could become Rush Star. She's an adult and she's sneaky. There is Fallow Shine, who could become Fallow Star. She's young. She's a young adult and adventurous. There is Cinder Heart, who could be Cinder Star. He's a senior adult and he's troublesome. There is Downy Leaf, who could become Downy Star. She's an elder, but she's faithful. There's Mossy Speckle, who could become Mossy Star. He's an adult and bloodthirsty. There is Light Bounce, who could be Light Star. She's an elder and sneaky. There is Flight Runner, who could become Flight Star. He's a young adult and confident. There is Pale Pool, who could be Pale Star. She's a senior adult and patient. There's Clover Whisker, who could become Clover Star. He's an adult and confident. And then there is Violet Fur, who could become Violet Star, and she is loyal. Hmm. I think I like the idea of Fallow Star being just a new leader. She's young, she's adventurous. I think that could be pretty interesting. Now, for her deputy, I think while she is young and adventurous, she would want somebody that's a little bit older than her to kind of give her advice and to help show her the ropes, which I think Pale Pool would be fantastic for. I think Pale Pool, she's very patient, and I do think she would have a lot of wisdom to give Fallow Star. Now we need our medicine cat. Let's see. You're troublesome, you're bloodthirsty, you're confident, and so are you. Um, let's see. I think I like the idea of Violet Fur. Young adult, loyal. So I'm going to have you join the clan. See, I'm going to recruit little Shade Kid here. He's a noisy little kid, and I think he's got some J or blue feathers. There's then Pear Paw, who is a loving adolescent. Let's see. I do want Clover Whisker and Flight Runner. Let's see. Rush Face could be interesting. Hmm. Get Cinderheart. And... You know what? We'll get Downy Leaf. I don't really want somebody sneaky or bloodthirsty in the clan, and I want them to have an, a faithful elder. So we'll take Downy Leaf. 
and then we'll hit done there. And for territory, they're going to live on the beach. We'll hit done. It's been created and saved. And look at that. This is what the beach looks like. We'll go ahead and take a look at Star Clan where there is Honey Heather. He had uh, passed away as an elder. He was patient and a good speaker. Okay. Let's check out all of our cats. So there's Rush Face. Uh, she is sneaky, but a fantastic hunter. She plans to visit the medicine cat. Fallow Star is developing a crush on Light, on Flight Runner already. Okay, she's adventurous and a great speaker. Downleaf is feeling a bit sassy today. She's faithful and a good hunter. Flight Runner was recently caught humming to himself. He's confident and a good hunter. You know what? We'll have you and Fallow Star join together. I think that'll be cute. Clover Whisker is sure to stand tall when the clan leader walks by. He's confident and a good teacher, and he has Pearpaw as his apprentice. Pearpaw is craving the taste of frog, but he has a strong connection to Star Clan. So I think I'm going to switch him over to be a medicine cat apprentice and see what that develops into. So Parapaw now has Violet Fur as his mentor. He is loving. Cinderheart is sparring with some clanmates. He's troublesome and a great speaker. Shade Kit just wants to snuggle. Pale Pool wishes they had an extra scent of paws. She's patient and a great teacher. And Violet Fur is running low on catmint. He is loyal and a good teacher. Okay. Alrighty then, we'll just send some cats out at random, see what happens. Pale Pool close to a two-leg trap? Absolutely not. There's some red berries that we're not going to touch. There's a rat that we catch, so we got some fresh kill for the clan. Next moon, Shadepaw has started uh, their apprenticeship. Sh Cinderheart brought a litter of three kits back to camp, but refused to talk about their origin. Okay, Cinderheart, let's let's check this out. So we have Rush faces sharing prey with Flight Runner. Fallowstar caught humming to herself. Down and Leaf is bossing around the younger cats. Flight Runner is craving some frog. Clover Whisker is promising to take Branch Kid outside camp if they behave. Okay. Parapaw regrets not eating the bird on the fresh kill pile. Cinderheart is grumbling as they carry out a task for the medicine cat, and you have Shadepaw as your apprentice. Shadepaw is craving a taste of mouse, and you are shameless. Pale Pool is doing their best to honor her clan and leader. Violet first staring off into space. Now we got little Branch Kit here, who's Cinderheart's kit. Uh, she is insecure and she's playing moss ball by herself. We have Oak Kit who had a nightmare. Uh, she's bouncy. And then there is Fleet Kit who's whining for milk when there is none and he is quiet. Okay. All right, cute kits. Alrighty, you have Cinderheart here. Hold a training session and becomes more confident. There's a rogue near the clan border that they chase off. There's a thunder pass. I don't think we should proceed. Not right now. It's pretty new still. Next moon, nothing special happens, which I will take. I take that as a decent sign. Let's see. Hunting is plentiful as new prey is born. There's some suspicious paw prints that lead them to a rogue. And they then have a successful sunny patrol. That's nice. Next moon. Okay, Downy Lee finds something interesting while out on a walk and decides to wear it. And Clover Whisker brought a litter of three kits and refuses to talk about their origin. Okay. More kits for us, I suppose. 
So let's check out what everyone's thinking right now. Rushface is spreading rumors about clanmates, which is rude. That's not nice, Rushface. Valstar is worried about clan relations. Okay. There's Downy Leaf. She found some some nettle to wear. Okay. She's enjoyed her old age. Flight runners guarding the camp entrance. Clover Whisker is helping to gather some herbs. Parapaw's picking the burrs from his pelt. He's almost about to be a medicine cat. Cinderheart is watching Branch Kit perform an almost decent hunting crouch. She must be so proud. Shadepaw pretends to be a warrior. Palepool wishes they, she had an extra set of paws. Violet Fur is happy that he chose the life as a medicine cat. Branch Kit's whimpering in her sleep. Oak Kit is whining for milk. Fleet Kit's eating some fresh kill. And now these are the new kits. So we have Parsley Kit, who has a sore paw from a bee sting, and she's nervous. We have Shy Kit. She's a noisy little kit, and she's easing some fresh kill. And we then have, ooh, Russet Kit. She is a bossy little kit, and she wants to take a nap. Okay. All right, so Shade Paw, Cinderheart. There's a large rat that they catch, which is good. There's a large dog that we're not going to pursue. There's an abandoned kit that sadly passes away. Oh. All right. Next moon, Flight Runner earned a scar protecting the kits, and Pear Dapple has earned his medicine cat name. Let's check this out. So Rush Face smells like they rolled in catmint recently. You better be saving that for our medicine cat. We're going to need it for Leaf Bear. Phallistar wants to explore far beyond the borders of the territory. Yeah. Downy Leaf is complaining about her nest being too rough. Flight Runner is craving some frog. Clover Whisker can't seem to stop talking about Cinderheart. Okay. Pear Dapple is staring off into space. He is loving and he's now a great mediator. Okay, that's good. Cinderheart is looking around camp. Shadepaw regrets not eating a bird on the fresh kill pile. Pale Pool is watching the breeze blow around camp. Violet Fur has been hearing the voices of Star Clan cats. Okay. Branch Kid has a sore paw from a bee sting. Oak Kit's having a hard day. Fleece Kit, Fleet Kit is rethinking his life choices. Parsley Kit's playing with a stick. Shy Kit's looking around camp. And Russet Kit is asking the older cats about how kittens are made. You will find out when you are older, little one. That time is not now. <laughs> okay. You can't find anything useful, but still had fun. There's another abandoned kit that we are able to nurse back to health. We now have little faded kit. Okay, he's really sweet. He's daring. He's a daring little one. There's a kitty pet who we accidentally frighten away. <laughs> Next up, there's nothing significant this moon. So let's see, Rush Face woke up on the wrong side of the nest. Fallow Star is telling Shade Paw about her own days as an apprentice. Downy Leaf is promising to always serve Star Clan. Flight Runner is rethinking his life choices. Clover Whisker is decorating his nest. Pear Dabble is helping organize the herb stores. Cinderheart told Pale Pool a hilarious joke. Shade Paw's craving some mouse. Pale Pool had a nightmare involving a rushing river. Violet Fur is talking to himself. Branch Kit's trying to growl menacingly. Same thing with Oak Kit. Fleet Kit's feeling nervous. Parsley Kit's rethinking her life choices. Shy Kit's bouncing around in excitement. Russet Kit is wondering if she would be a good swimmer. And Faded Kit's eating some fresh kill. Okay. There's nothing too serious going on. There's a two-leg nest while hunting. We're not going to go that way. 
Nothing useful, but still had fun. There's a badger's den that we chase away. Again, nothing significant happens. Rush face is looking forward to today. Follow stars headed to the dirt place. Downy leaves basking in the sun. Flight runners reinforcing the camp with brambles. Clover whiskers feeling sore. Paired apple made a mess of the herbs and is panicking. Cinderheart is embarrassed after getting a taste of their own bitter herbs. Serves them right. Absolutely. Shadepaw has a sore from a bee sting. Palepool's feeling sassy. Violet Fur is looking forward to the half moon meeting. Branch Kit whines about being hungry. Oak Kit is excited to become an apprentice. Fleet Kit is staring off into space. Parsley Kit is in the medicine den. Shy Kit regrets not eating the bird in the fresh kill pile. Rustic Kit comes up with a plan to sneak out of camp with Fleet Kit. And Faded Kit is rolling around on the ground. Okay. All right, Shade Paw, you're going to get your warrior name here next moon. Cinderheart finds a patch of herbs that they believe the medicine cat needed, and they bring them back. There's a two-leg nest that we're not going to hunt in. They didn't find anything useful, but they still had fun. Okay. So Shade Fern has now earned his warrior name. We now have Branch Paw, Oak Paw, and Fleet Paw. And Branch Paw had lost his tail to an, sorry, her tail to an otter. Goodness me. Let's see, Rush Face is feeling content. She's got Fleet Paw as her apprentice. Fallow Star wants to spend some time alone today. She has Oak Paw as her apprentice. <clears throat> Downy leaves having a good day. Flight Runner thinks they're the fiercest fighter in the clan. Clover Whiskers relaxing in camp. Parrot Apple is craving the taste of shrew. Cinderheart is having a hard day. Shade Fern plans to visit the medicine cat. He is shameless and smart. Pale Pool has Branch Paw. She's having a hard day. Violet Fur staring off into space. Branch Paw is purring gently. Oh, she's being very loving towards Pale Pool. Oak Paw wishes uh, she was still in her nest sleeping. She's righteous. Fleet Paw went from being nervous to being daring. And he's picking furs from his pelt. Parsley Kit is hiding from the other cats. Shy Kit snapping. Russia Kit comes up with a plan to sneak out of camp with Faded Kit. And Faded Kit is worried others are judging him. Oh, it's okay. It's all right. Okay, Branch Paw, you have the Deputy Pale Pool. There's a squirrel, and they manage to catch it. There's then Oak Paw, who's got Fallow Star. They find a bird and they catch it. There's then Fleet Paw, who's got Rush Face. Nothing useful, but still had fun. Nice spot to sun themselves, and they have a successful patrol. There's a shadow of a fish in the river, and they manage to get some fish out of the river. Okay, next moon, Shadefur is injured by an enemy warrior after accidentally walking, wandering over the border. Oh dear. Okay, it's just a little nick in his ear, that's okay. Rush Face is relaxing in camp. Fallow Star is napping. Downy Leaf wishes they were still in their nest sleeping. Well, you still can be. Flight Runner is feeling unappreciated. Clover Whisker has a sore paw from a bee sting. Paired Apple is feeling lazy. Cinder Heart's rethinking his life choices. Shade Fern pushed a kit out of his way thoughtlessly. Shade Fern, that's rude. Pool is winning a staring contest against a clanmate. Violet first feeling unappreciated. Branch Paw can't take their eyes off of Shy Kit for more than a few seconds. <laughs> Oak Paw is basking in the sun. Fleet Paw is curious about the other clans. Parsley Kit's demanding Pale Pool's attention. Shy Kit plays Moss Ball with Russet Kit. Russet Kit's feeling sassy today. And Faded Kit's having a good day. Okay. 
we're going to be having a lot of apprentices pretty soon, so let's have Branch Paw and Pale Pool go out. There's a shadow, and they got some fish. We then have Follow Star with Oak Paw. There's a kitty pet who's interested in joining the clan, and we convince them to join. So we now have Clover Spots, who we will change the name of. So let's see, your name shall be your name shall be uh, White Grass. There we go, White Grass. He's calm and he's formerly a kitty pet. We then have Fleet Paw with Rush Face. There's a large hare that they catch. There's a nice spot to sun themselves and have a good patrol. There's some red berries that we're not going to touch. More than likely, those are going to be death berries. Next moon, Parsi Paw, Shy Paw, and Rosa Paw are now apprentices. Rush Face, uh, sharpening her claws, still has Fleet Paw. Fallow Star called an important clan meeting. Uh, she still has Oak Paw as her apprentice. Downy Leaf's feeling gloomy. Uh, Flight Runner has Shy Paw as his apprentice. Clover Whisker has Russet Paw as his apprentice. He's daydreaming. Paradapple is proud of his ability to care for his clanmates. Cinderheart feels a sense of dread. Shadefur is frustrated that Oak Paw won't take his her duties more seriously. Pillpool is winning another staring contest against a clanmate. Violet Fur is eating some fresh kill. Branchpaw feels a sense of dread. Oakpaw's having a hard day. Fleetpaw's looking forward to today. Parsleypaw has white grass as her mentor. She's feeling lazy and she's childish. Shypaw is listening to a clanmate struggle with love and she's compassionate. Russetpaw is talking to herself. Her mentor is Clover Whisker and she is righteous. Faded Kid, who will become an apprentice next moon, he's feeling pretty happy. And White Grass is lining their list with Lavender. Okay. Goodness, now we gotta match the cat to the apprentice. Okay. You have Pale Pool. You have Clover Whisker. There's a small dog that they drive away. Oak Paw, you have Fallow Star here. There's a fox that they drive away. See Fleet Paw, you've got Rush Face. There's a two leg nest, and they had a successful hunt. Branch Paw, you have Pale Pool. There's new hunting techniques. Shy Paw, you have Flight Runner. There's a rogue near the border, and they chase it off. Parsley Paw, you have White Grass. It's acting strange, so we're not going to touch it. There's a badger den, and we chase off the badger. Okay, gonna hit save. Next moon, Faded Paw is now an apprentice. Alrighty, Rush Pace is eating some fresh kills, still has Fleet Paw. Valastar thinks she's going crazy, she's still got Oak Paw. Downy Leaf is snoring loudly in her sleep. Flight Runner is sure to stand tall when his mate walks by, still has Shy Paw. Clover Whisker thinks that he's the fastest runner in the clan. His apprentice is still Russet Paw. Paradapple is making some new nests. Cinderheart now has Faded Paw. Cinderheart is bored and looking for something to get into. Shade Fern thinks he's going crazy. Pale Pool is listening to the older cats gripe about their day. Violet Fur is sharpening his claws. Branch Paw is staring off into space. Oak Paw thinks she's going crazy. Fleet Paw is wondering if he would be a good swimmer. Parsley Paw is craving some rabbit. Shy Paw is helping the medicine cat organize herb stores. Russet Paw is in the medicine den. Faded Paw is sharing prey with white grass, and Faded Paw is responsible. I don't know if it's a good idea to have you with Cinderheart then. White Grass recently was caught humming to uh, himself. 
I don't think it's a good idea for Faded Paw, who's responsible to be with a troublemaker like Cinderheart. So, I think I'm going to change your mentor to be Shade Fern instead. Okay. Alrighty, Faded Paw. Here you go with Shade Fern. They found some herbs. Oak Paw and Fallow Star. There's a fox that they drive away. Branch Paw with Pale Pool. There's some suspicious paw prints and they chase off a rogue. Russet Paw and Clover Whisker. There's a rabbit that's just over the border that we're not going to chase. There is Fleet Paw and Rush Face. There's a fox that they drive away. There's Shy Paw with Flight Runner. New fighting techniques. I will have these three go together. Uh, we are not going to go near that two leg trap. Thank you. Save. Next moon. Oh dear. Follow Star lost her first life defending Branch Paw from an eagle at 30 moons old. It feels so weird that all three leaders have lost a life from an eagle. That, that feels very oddly specific. And Downy Leaf has passed away due to her old age at 166 moons old. Oh, Downy Leaf. Knows Recipa's secret and wants to tell a cat. What secrets are you talking about? All right. Rushface is relaxing in camp. Falastar is hoping she's leading her clan well. Of course you are. You just saved your... You just saved Branchpaw's life. Flight Runner knows without a doubt the clan his mate must respect him. Well, of course. Clover Whisker thinks he's the fiercest fighter in the clan. Pradapple is struggling to remember all the names of herbs. Cinderheart recently put a dead snake at a camp entrance to their clanmates. That's rude. Shade Fern sharpening his claws. Pale Pool's curious about the other clans. Violet Fur's interpreting a prophecy. Okay. Branch Paw is fighting with Faded Paw. Okay. Oak Paw's feeling content. Fleet Paw almost choked on his prey. Slow down and just eat. <laughs> Parsley Paw's rethinking her life choices. Shy Paw's helping the medicine cat organize herb stores. Russet Paw practices the hunting crouch. Faded Paw woke up on the wrong side of the nest. And White Grass also almost choked on his prey. Okay. You all need to slow down and just chew. <laughs> it's not that difficult. Alrighty. Russet Paw, Clover Whisker. Come across a Thunder Pass. No. Uh, Fleet Paw and Rush Face. Suspicious Paw Prints that lead them to a rogue. Oak Paw and Follow Star. There's a Badger's Den that they chase off. Par Parsley Paw with White Grass meeting Sneak Clan that have a nice conversation. Alrighty, Branch Paw in Pale Pool. There's a large dog we're not going to pursue. Faded Paw with Shade Fern. Nothing useful. Still had fun. And then we shall have these three. It's just over the border. We're we're not we're not going to um, go after the rabbit that's over the border. <laughs> Next moon, Branch Paw is scolded after sneaking out of camp. Russet Paw was bit by a snake but lived. Oh goodness. Downy Leaf has been following the growth of Branch Paw. That's sweet. All right, Rush Face caught a big rabbit. Fallow Star is relaxing in camp. Flight Rummer is fuming from an argument with Russet Paw. Okay. Clover Whiskers craving some mouse. Pear Dapples relaxing in camp. Cinderheart regrets not eating the bird on the fresh kill pile. Shade Fern feels unappreciated. Pale Pool's talking with Parsley Paw. Violet Fur is running low on mouse bile. Branch Paw is talking with friends about recent celebrations. Oak Paw is looking around camp. Fleet Paw is fighting with Violet Fur. Okay. Parsley Paw wants to spend some time alone today. 
Shaipa is being scolded for giving their prey away to a starving loner. That's rude. She's she's compassionate. Rosetpa is spending a considerable amount of time grooming. Faded Paw is curious about the other clans. And Whitegrass is sparring with some clanmates. I think I'll just go ahead and do this moon and just hit the next moon and then save. So let's see here. Alrighty, your mentor is not here. You have Pale Pool, who is here. Trapped in brambles and freeze them. You have White Grass, who's here. Abandoned Kit, that sadly passes away. Oak Paw and Fallow Star, Two Leg Nest. Had some successful hunting. Let's see, Rush Face and Fleet Paw. There's a squirrel that they catch. Let's see. We'll have Shy Paw and Flight Runner. There's a badger's den that they chase away. There's Faded Paw and Shade Fern. That miss a mouse. There's a deep ravine. We're not going to go into that ravine. I feel like that's too dangerous. We're going to hit save. See the next moon. Okay, so we have a lot of stuff now. So Branch Leap, Oak Mist, and Fleet Smoke have now earned their warrior names, and Fallow Star had three kits with Flight Runner. So let's go ahead and check out what everyone thinks. So Rush Face is guarding the camp entrance. Fallow Star is showing off a trinket they found while exploring. Flight Runner is staring off into space. Clover Whisker is curious about the other clans. Paradapple plans to go out gathering herbs today. Cinderheart's gossiping. Shadefur is craving some vol. Palepools is assigning cats to go on hunting patrol. Violetfur is running low on catmint. Branch Leap wants to spend some time alone today. She is loving and she is a great fighter. Oak Mist is staring off into space. She is righteous and extremely smart. Fleet Smoke almost choked on his prey. He is daring and a good teacher. Parsley Paws batting on a ball of moss. Shy Paws craving some frog. Russet Paws visiting the medicine den. Faded Paws having a good day. White Grass is sparring with some clanmates. And now we have the new kids. We have Elk Kit, who's pretending to be his mom. He is quiet. Pigeon Kit, who is bouncy and wonders who his mentor will be. And we then have Burn Kit, who is refusing to take her nap. And she's an attention seeker. Okay. That's interesting. She's very cute. She looks a lot like her father. While her brothers look more like their mother. Okay. And how is Downy Leaf doing? She's exploring Star Clan's hunting grounds. Okay. All right. So I think I think that's going to be it for this episode today with seeing Mist Clan uh, become a thing and they thrive. Um, I will be making a fourth clan. So then that way we can have all four. So we currently have Cinnamon Clan, Fuzzy Clan, Mist Clan, and probably next episode we'll have the fourth clan. So then that way, in between episodes, we can check on each individual clan. So I hope you guys had a lot of fun with this. I really love all these cats. I think it's really interesting and fun. Please let me know any theories or thoughts that you have down in the comments. I would love to see what you guys like, um, if there's anything you don't like, or if you have any specific uh, writings or ideas on any particular cats here. So I hope you all have a good day, and goodbye!